Skulljack. Hello and welcome to Skulljack. On our left, left, left. On the left. On, our, on the left is Mr. Gary Kenyon, and he is playing Personal Evolution. And on our right, we have Jordan, who you may remember from Round Two, and he is playing the Professor. Yeah. We know that. Well, we speculated in Round Two that Jordan's Professor was like a small programs type deal where he's selling a load of stuff to Aesops. But he will have uh, surprises such as Sneak Dog Beta, because that's how he won his last game. Keyhole. And Keyhole, that of course. a lot of agendas in Gary's opening hand. That is, Gary is he's keeping it, because I believe he's playing the punitive ah. personal ah, yes, evolution. Yes, yes. So he'll be trying to score a profit here in early. Yep. So punitive is live. And with Jordan's Jordan money situation last game was dodge. Yep. So... That may be an issue. Yeah. Hopefully Jordan can see like an Aesop's early. John Jordan slamming down those cards. Boosh. Yeah, There's the profiteering Nigerian. straight away. I so it's 15, a, no doubt. Yep. I think he's got another one in his hand, plus a clone retirement, a Kronos. Yeah. Else. So expect the clone retirement, maybe score yeah. next turn. Yeah. Ash, Ash Rolib will do work, obviously, in a PE matchup. Uh, yes, absolutely. I really hate seeing that card in the age. Yeah, yeah, but you, you, it's one of those things you got to deal with. He's got to get over it. <laughs> Not quite, Jordan. <laughs> so, <laughs> click one draw. <laughs> Jordan really considering Ooh. his options. Ooh. Personal workshop. Do we see so there's a big game? economy card for him. Pardon what you said. Did you see that last? Uh, his last game? No, I can't remember. I don't think we did see personal <laughs> workshop last game. There's an R and D interface. Mm -hmm. Can be risky against Jinteki, but yeah, especially agendas win games. Well, true, yeah. And you can always keyhole and not using the R and D ability if he needs to. Mm. Actually, kind of annoying against this deck, actually, considering that he can make runs with at least sort of seven cards in his hand, not even trying. Is that a mongoose? That is a mongoose on the personal workshop. Which he uses the bad publicity to pay out. Yes, yes. So that, that bad publicity is really going to come It's going to be this massive game. this game. Not sure what he's going to talk about. You have to, if you are playing the punitive P, though, you have to score the, puni the profiteering. Oh, yeah, just to get immediate credit advantage. It's like super rental at that point. Mm. And hopefully clone retirement can uh, help out here. I missed what he installed, the second card. Uh, Did I you think catch one it? of them was a Kronos. Oh, nice. Yeah, just get it down there early, just so yeah. you just got it there when you need it. Yeah, especially because John's not checked a remote yet. No, I think he's probably a bit worried about it at this point, considering... Yeah, well, early game can be huge, uh, out of shaper. Yeah. It can really hit... Uh, if Early net damage can really just smash your tempo up. Is that Jordan's loading animation? Just spinning, <laughs> spinning the click. Just oh, there's the Ooh, chronos. Oh, that's probably good. Uh, so net damage... There's the lamprey. Oh, Gary realizing he forgot to do it when he was yeah the uh, when he's got the profiteering. Ooh, corporate town's going to annihilate the personal workshop. Beautiful. That's harsh. Uh, one influence corporate town's got to be expected out of here. <laughs> Gary getting excited. <laughs> this is what I was looking forward to in this this, this match. Just like, uh, yeah, Gary. you got to know that Gary is at his happiest when his opponent is at their least happiest. Uh, being crushed. Being yeah. crushed. Yeah. 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 Gary likes it when he ruins your day. So that's a big deal for Jordan, to be fair, if he wants to get another yeah. personal workshop online. Especially if that is main, main avenue, ugh, his main avenue to get his uh, bigger programs out. Yeah, that's true. And oh, well, that hardware as well. Ah, in. Nice. A good shout. I'll be very sad when he imp cycles. Say again. I'll be very sad when Imp cycles. Oh man. Yeah. Oh, Shinobi. Oh, I suppose you could, yeah, there's bad yeah, publicity, it doesn't matter. matter. Yeah. That makes a lot of sense. And that amount of money as well, just. Mm -hmm. And you can get that. Oops, those kills out so much easier. Yeah, a card that doesn't see a lot of play, so could potentially kill someone because they're not expecting it. 
I think it was probably just it wasn't seen that much play because Kate was such a big thing. Obviously, it's always going to be a big thing, and she can just face plant this traces a lot easier. Uh, possibly. I also heard that only bad players died to Shinobi years ago because you should be aware of it and have a bigger economy. Because P classically not having a lot of economy. Yeah, that's fair. But obviously, in this build, is perfect. Uh, what's that? What piece of ice is that? That is a uh, checkpoint. Oh, checkpoint. Yep. So checkpoint, uh, soft end the run there. Yep. Uh, Gary draws a new roll. Yep. It's got a celebrity gift, but it's also got a handful of agendas. Yeah. I Doesn't strictly need the money right now. No, and that is a Cortex lock over HQ as well. Is the clone retirement, is it? Useful. Yeah, especially when you've got the bad pub as well. Mm. And, pro and uh, yeah. Uh, run on RDC's Mushin Notion. <laughs> you got to be angry. There's a fetal, which you'll probably steal. Steal it. Steal it. That is one of my main ones. Ooh, sneak down, nice. Yeah. And there's the and personal, workshop, personal workshop. But hard to play it with a corporate town on the ball. Yeah. Uh, what piece of ice is that? Uh, is that a cell mm, port? What, no, that was yeah. another Shinobi, I think. Oh, of course it is. <laughs> nice. See, that's the interesting thing as well, is that Jordan is such an ex experienced PE player as well, mm. that he's bound to have at least a better idea of what Gary might be doing than other players. Uh, true. Although I was fairly surprised to see the uh, profiteering get scored. Or maybe it was just happy because he had the, per uh, the personal workshop. Oh, right, yeah. <laughs> Ooh, shock, nice. I often can't find the deck slots for shop. <laughs> Clicks for creds. Mm. <laughs> yeah, just, uh, I don't know if Jordan's just used to running on not a lot of creds with <laughs> Professor, but he seems to be pretty money styled. But I suppose that is just because it seems from what a lot of the uh, assets, um, resources we've seen so far have been his money and money ones. Yeah, well, you show gambles and your daily uh, casts keep you going until you find your pro cons. Gary sacking a clone retirement to clip trigger a clone retirement. <laughs> <laughs> trying to get rid of that bad part. I mean, fair enough. I love it. That is a great play. <laughs> so finally a piece of ice on R&D and there's the Shinobi. This. How much is it to break with Mongoose? Uh, it would be... Six. So twice for strength. So he's got the money. Twice for strength and then... Three times... No, it's a seven. I oh know, six, because it does two times, doesn't it? Yeah, but you can let, let the trace one. Oh no, there'd be no point. I think you've got a pair for this. Am I, I don't know. Yeah, pay through it then. Yeah, okay. Oh, that is, that is the worst feeling as a PE player. That is the worst feeling. Ooh, copycat. Ooh, my man. Very coy. Oh, but that fly that entanglement. Is, that is a big thing for Gary's deck. Well, now the punitive is pretty much offline. Yeah, because he's won seven to six point, uh, five points now. Yep. And he's a uh, credit starved. So installing the Kronos project. Taking two credits. 
Will Jordan check it? Because R and D is a little bit needs to build up some money. Mm. Oof, that for like, yeah. It can be the, uh, the hardest thing about a punitive deck is you can just reach that point. And you're like, well, these cards that I spent a lot of influence don't yeah. work anymore. Yeah, that's the, yeah. It's like with mid seasons as well. Is that after a certain point, mid seasons is just all dead influence. Yeah, at least PE will have other options to kill. Yeah, that's true. Uh, Second year in hand. What's it called again? Twenty four seven news yeah. cycle. Great for triggering Floy. Oh my goodness, yeah. So even worse. I assume him. Uh, what influences? Three. Uh, so maybe. Th yeah, maybe one and then two punitive. I'm not sure about influence. And then checkpoint is two influence, is it? Checkpoint is two. Yeah, I think uh, 24 7 is three. So that uh, clearing out the armage. So a tough position for Gary to be in. <laughs> Single fetal just wins it. Yeah. Means you can't just throw out those agendas or just play the shell game anymore. Cause mm -hmm. Man, if Jordan can get into that hand. Yeah, well his hand has been packed full of agendas all yep. game. I think Gary's tempted by this celebrity gift, but it's probably a game ender. Yeah, but it's just it's just a cork set clock over HQ, that's the problem. Another checkpoint mm. replaces the cortex yeah. lock. <laughs> yeah, because all Jordan would just be taking one net damage at that point, and you probably wouldn't get about that, that's that much. <laughs> I think it was a shock. Diesel for the profess. Procon has not been a thing. It really hasn't. So it's not breaking Shinobi since Gary's a little low on credits. But you're only saving a single credit if you, Gary doesn't pump any money into it. True, but then he's making Gary pump money into it. If he does. It's true. That's true. snare you fire it all day every day you do you pay it all day every day it's fair that's why you put it in the day yeah it's got to be done and john has a tag as well which is but not uh, he's not been playing any resources since corporate towns at the board anyway <laughs> did remove the tag just oh did he yeah he, he did remove the tag well he, he picked up a credit and was like oh, actually no I've got the tag I'll remove that that's fair you know he, he hasn't seen a lot of influence so far well so, oh, actually no I suppose he's seen a bit of influence yeah but, uh, what for who in terms of Scorch oh, no. oh, we've seen almost all of Gary's influence because I'm pretty sure he's running uh, sorry uh, what's it called Punitive so yeah. that's 6 if he's running 2 and then 9 no, for the thing only two, two influence. it's Punitive 2 yeah 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 So, so that's so splashable. Checkpoint for. Since he's got two. He's probably got Cork Up to eight with. I think one's Cork Towns one. Yeah, so that's nine. And then if we assume Jackson. Eleven. It's pretty much all of it. It's a place for a single Scorch though. Hmm, potentially. You can't tell you for a And gets rid of the film creator since. Corporate Town. She lives in Corporate Town. Is he going to gift here? Yeah. Yep. And there's the two fetal AIs. But he's now got the money to res the checkpoint at least. That's true, yeah. <laughs> Suppose that did put Gary back in the money though. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. And you know, it's desperate times call for desperate me measures. Uh, 
I'm just going to give it pay. So the trace starts at seven, does it? Uh, no, it's five. I think. Is it five? Yeah. So he jacked out. David going to rinse through this checkpoint. There we go. There we go. Yeah, that, as soon as the, I mean, the first fetal I wasn't that bad, but as soon as the flight entanglement yeah, got stolen, it was just was on the ropes for Gary. Too much game. Mm -hmm. Good game, though. There's a lot of that. Yeah, I saw the agendas he'd seen so far. Yeah. It happens. This is where I'm flashing excuses, excuses <laughs> on screen. Uh, yeah, good game. Yeah, GG. Jordan is the winner, and we will see you in round two. Woo. Round two, sorry. Round four, game two. Game two. Bye, Steve. Bye, Steve.